This is our last long-term film with our wonderful X540D. Over the last six months, this thing has traveled all over the country. It's even gone to France to film at Le Mans. It's been a wonderful companion for me and the crew because after a long day of shooting, all you want to do is get in something big and soft and comfortable. And this is that car. You just kind of sink into it and you can eat up the miles. It's, to be honest, it's utterly fantastic. I can see why BMW sells so many of them. Now it's got 313 horsepower, it's got 464 pound foot, 0 to 62 takes 5.9 seconds and it'll top 140 if you're feeling brave enough. The engine is powerful, torquey, just what you want. The gearbox, fantastic. The, the braking, this thing weighs over three tons and you know what, when you need to stop, you do feel its weight, but it just works, it does its thing. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful bit of kit. However, over the six months we've had it, I've noticed a few things about it and most of them are pretty good. You know, I'm not a fan of the brown interior because, well, brown interiors are a bit weird. It looks like someone's had a bottom explosion, but horses for courses. But the biggest thing I've noticed is that actually SUVs are probably the best city cars in the world. Now the city car traditionally is supposed to be a little thing that's easy to park and it's easy to see out of and it's got enough space and you can do lots of things with it and you know it's a versatile thing for someone that lives somewhere where maybe parking's at a premium and you don't need to go very quickly and all that stuff, right? The only problem is they're tiny. Now, it's really weird. I, I never expected to think like this, but the reason SUVs are the best city cars money can buy is because a big car, while seemingly pointless in the city is actually a really good deterrent from people hitting you and that's my big takeaway from this i know i don't need this space in town i don't need to have this parked on my drive hell i don't need more than two seats in my current situation a lot of people really don't but to have that to have that deterrent from someone being able to see you and not wanting to hit you for fear of you know insurance ruin and anger and possible kneecapping that's a good thing, and I like that. Now for the whole city thing, this does have a few neat toys. So there are cameras everywhere. So you press a button and you get a curbside view of the car, you get reversing cameras and stuff like that. And you know what? It's so handy to have that. Because this thing is too large for town and because it's just so silly, BMW has thought of absolutely everything. The only other irksome thing is that someone keeps changing the radio station to Magic Chilled rather than my favourites, Absolute or Classic. And that's annoying. But other than that, you know what? The X5 has been a truly outstanding crew car. We've been very, very lucky to have it. It's been exemplary, it's been comfortable, and it's been utterly, utterly wonderful. I know I say this with all of our long-termers, but I'm really going to miss this one because it's like a big armchair. And I like armchairs. I can sit in them and rest. The next one though, the next one's a little different and I think you're all gonna like it. <laughs>